Hi guys, welcome to Yarn Scrap Friday. Uh, this Friday I'm going to be showing you how to make this little guy, a little snail. And this is actually an adaption of um, my mini snail, tiny little miniature snail used with very very thin crochet hooks um, which you can find on my blog. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that written pattern as well. But this uh, pattern is slightly different um, because we're going to be using a thicker yarn and this yarn we are going to be using some happy berry yarn, yay! <laughs> and I used, for this little snail here, I used the tea green and the white snow shades of our Baby Snuggles yarn. But I think what I'm going to do um, for this one in the video is I'm going to try out the, um, the peachy pink shade. Okay, and this is a DK light worsted weight yarn. And we're going to be using a three millimeter crochet hook and it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well for sewing in those ends and it's also a good idea to have some toy stuffing as well um, but you can of course use yarn scraps as well because you don't need to use much for stuffing okay so let's begin okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the white and we're going to work on the body to begin with and we need to first of all chain four to begin so using your three millimeter crochet hook we're going to chain four one two three and four then what we want to do is we want to slip stitch into our first chain to form a loop. So let's put our hook in that first chain, bring the yarn through that chain and straight through the loop on your hook and that forms a loop of your four chains where in the middle you should find a little hole as expected. And into that hole we want to work eight single crochet. So we're going to put our hook into the middle so now ignoring how many chains we got, we're just going to work eight single crochet around those chains. So we do one, go back into the center, two, go back in, three, Six, get some more yarn. Six, seven, and when you get towards the end, you might have to just push them over a little bit. Seven, and the last one, get back into the center. Eight, so you should have eight single crochet. You can pull the tail end to close the hole. A little bit so you should have eight two four six seven eight and what you want to do is just put your hook into that first single crochet that you did like so and then we're going to do a slip stitch so just bring the yarn through the single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook so by the end of that round you should have eight single crochet and what we're basically going to do now is for the second round, round two, all the way up to round 11, um, so that's 10, 10 rounds, um, you just want to do one single crochet into each stitch around, so you've still got a stitch count of eight. Okay, so for rounds two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so that's 10 rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, so you've still got a stitch count of eight. So what we're gonna do, you go straight into, you're not gonna chain one or anything like that, you're not gonna join the rounds, we're just literally gonna work in a spiral. So we go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And you may want to put a little stitch mark, stitch marker in if you want to, or you can just count to eight each time. So one in the next stitch, then go into the next stitch and do one by itself. 
so that's two, then one in the next stitch by itself, three, one in the next stitch by itself, four, one in the next stitch by itself, five, one in the next stitch by itself, six, one in the next stitch by itself, seven, and one in the last stitch, one in the next stitch by itself. So, might be a little bit tight in this one because it's near the slip stitch, where you slip stitched. So, eight. And then when you get to, so that's the end of the first round, you just do one single crochet in each stitch around. And what you want to do, you don't want to join the round, you don't want to slip stitch or anything like that, you just literally want to just go straight into the next stitch then, like before, and count to eight again. So, the next stitch straight away, and do one single crochet by itself. So that's one, then into the next one, two, and this is your second round, so you want to do ten of these rounds, in total of just working one single crochet each stitch around so you've still got a stitch count of eight and just working in a spiral okay so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back and show you so that's two three four and you should see that you want your work to pop out that way so it's sticking out in this direction and you're working upwards in this direction okay okay so I just repeated that for I've done 10 rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around just working in a spiral so not joining the rounds at all just carrying on and uh, you should still have a stitch count of eight and what we want to do now for round 12 is we want to work one single crochet in the next stitch so I find it easier when working with small round projects like this just to flatten the work down. So going into the next stitch we want to do one single crochet. Then in the next stitch we want to do two single crochet. So going into the next stitch you want to do two single crochet. So you do one to begin then you want to go back into the same stitch and do another one. And you want to repeat that around doing one single crochet then two single crochet in the next stitch until you get back to the beginning and you should end up with a stitch count of 12 so that's one then two and three so then one by itself in the next stitch just one single crochet by itself is four get some more yarn and then we do the two single crochet in the next stitch so four five and six Five, and go back into the same stitch to get your sixth single crochet then one by itself one single crochet by itself in the next stitch seven then eight and nine two single crochet in the next stitch eight and nine so there's one eight and go back into the same stitch to nine Then one single crochet by itself in the next stitch for 10. So just one by itself. And then the last stitch we do 11 and 12. So one single crochet, then go back into the same stitch and do another one. Okay, so it should look a little something like that. It should have got a little bit bigger. You should have a stitch count of 12, you know. And now what you want to do is you want to do rounds 13, 14 and 15 of just one single crochet in each stitch around again. So you need to count up to 12 each time. So three more rows, 13, 14 and 15, three rounds rather, not rows, rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So we just, we don't join the rounds, we just go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. So that's one. Two and eleven 
and 12. This is the last stitch on the third round. Okay, so you should have done three rounds, one, two, three, rounds 13, 14 and 15 of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So you should still have a stitch count of 12 and you should see it looks a little something like that. And what we want to do now, just pull your yarn up slightly, is a good time now is to actually stuff our little snail, snail's body. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll take a little bit of toy stuffing, but you can use yarn scraps as well, and just break it up. And a really good way of stuffing small things like this, because trying to just push it down with your finger, it'd probably be quite difficult to do, is just get some scissors and use your scissors, closed scissors, to stuff the body and it goes in really easy. You can push it right down to his tail at the end. So there we go. So I might just, just give him a little, little mould. I might just give him a little bit more at the top. Right, okay, what we're going to do now is, next step is when you make sure the stuffing's inside, is we want to close it up. So what we want to do now is we just want to work um, some single crochet two together around until it's closed up. So to work a single crochet two stitches together, sorry my table's so creaky, we're going to go into the next stitch as if starting a normal single crochet and bring the yarn through. So you've got two loops, but we're going to stop there, we're not going to finish the single crochet. We're just going to go straight into the next stitch as well. Bring the yarn through, so we've got three loops, and then we yarn over and pull through all three. And that single crochet is two stitches together. And then we're going to repeat that round to the end. Let's go into the next stitch, and then into the next stitch as well. So you've got three loops, yarn over pull for all three. Let's go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, then go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, three loops, yarn over, pull for all three. And just keep doing that until you get back to the beginning. Yeah, a little bit fiddly towards the end. And then the last two. Like so. And you still have a hole at the end, but what we're going to do now is we're going to leave a little tail, and you want to leave a little tail for sewing at the end as well. So I'm going to trim our yarn and taking our yarn needle. Now first things first we're going to pull our hook out that's what we're going to do. So that's finished and then we thread on our yarn to our yarn needle and what you want to do is just make sure the stuffing's out of the way is we want to go into the next stitch on here. So find the next stitch, right there. And then we want to come out the next stitch as well. And what this we're going to do is basically draw a string close our project, like so. And then we go into the next stitch, then out the next stitch. And you can see that slowly pulls the hole closed. And into the next stitch and out the next one. So you just draw stringing it closed. Okay, so when you're happy, when that hole is closed, I'll just do one more. Okay, like so. So when you're happy, what we want to do is you want to then sew this tail end 
just want to go into the center of the end and you want to come up about there on the that's going to be the back of his head so you imagine he's going to sit up like that so you want to sew out the back of his head which looks a bit gruesome but <laughs> okay so the tail end ends up there and then we're going to take our yarn needle off and the reason for that is we're going to use that to help sew on the shell afterwards okay so what we're going to do now is going to move on to the shell okay so to make the shell we're going to be using our peachy pink yarn this time just to make it a little bit different to the green one and the first thing you want to do is we're going to start off very similar to the body and we're going to chain four so we're using the same size hook as well I'm going to chain four this silky yarn this is so one two three and four and then we want to slip stitch into our first chain, so put your hook in there and bring the yarn through that chain then through the loop on your hook and that forms a loop and again in the centre you'll see a little hole don't confuse it with the first chain and into that, that little centre hole we're going to work 8 single crochet again so we're going to put our hook into the centre bring the yarn through and do a single crochet and we do 8 of these so that's one. Let's go back into the center. Two. Back into the center. Seven, the last one, eight. So when you've got eight single crochet, we can just pull the tail end, which will tighten the hole. Let's check you've got eight, two, four, six, eight, and then we want to slip stitch. This is the only time we slip stitch to join around. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet, going through both loops. Bring the arm through the stitch, through the loop on that hook to do a slip stitch. So by the end of that round you should have eight single crochet and what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight into the next stitch so we're not going to chain one or anything we're always working in spirals then we're going to go straight into the next stitch and we're going to do two single crochet so we do one to begin then we go back into the same stitch and do another one so you've got two in there you want to do two single crochet in each stitch around so you're doubling up your stitch count from 8 to 16. So you've got two in there and you want two in the next one. Go back into the same stitch. Then two in the next one as well. So keep doing two single crochet in each stitch around until you've got a stitch count of 16 until you're back to the beginning. Six, then we need seven and eight. Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen. It's always a little bit tight in the last one because it's where we were slip stitching. Fifteen and sixteen, and then you should see you're back at the beginning. So by the end of round two you should have a stitch count of 16. You should have done two single crochet in each stitch around doubled up. 
Okay, so what we want to do now, just check out 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 16 in there. Okay, so the next round, round three, we're going to do some more increases again. But we're going to, this time we're going to the next stitch, little one on the top, and just do one single crochet by itself, so just the one. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay. And we're going to repeat that round again, going back to just one single crochet in the next stitch. So just one by itself. Just one. Then two single crochet. One back into the same stitch. Two. So you want to repeat that round back to the beginning, doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, until you've got a stitch count of 24. Okay? So that's one by itself. Then two single crochet. And the last two. 22 is by itself, then 23 and 24 in the same stitch. We go back into the same stitch, 24. So by the end of round three, you should have a stitch count of 24. And you can see it's working in a spiral, which is brilliant for our little snail as well. Then what we want to do is we just want to work two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around. So you've still got a stitch count of 24. So you just count to 24 and do that twice. So two rounds of just one single crochet. Go straight into the next stitch. Hit each stitch around. Two, three, 21, 22, 23 and 24. Okay, so I've done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, and it should look a little something like that, like a little hat. And uh, you should still have a stitch count of 24. And what we want to do now is we want to stop there, but for this one, this half of the shell, we want to leave a little bit for sewing it closed. Okay. And then what I want you to do, what I want you to do, but what's next to do, <laughs> is um, just to repeat all those steps for the other side of the shell, because we're going to sew it up in the middle. So just repeat all that again, so you get this two of these, and, uh, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay. 23 and 24. Okay, so I've just finished the uh, second one of these as well. For this one, you only need to you just cut it quite short, the tail end, so let's pull that through. Um, what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to hide this short tail end on this one. And by doing that, I'm just going to go into the next stitch with my needle to the back, just to bring that down. And then I'm just going to hide the, sew the tail end a bit on the inside, just sew through a few stitches and back in the opposite direction, and there we go, we can, you can trim it down if you want to or you can just leave it on the inside for extra stuffing. Okay, so you should have two of those by now and what we're going to do now is we're going to basically sew these together. So get the longer tail end, sew that onto your needle, and the same thing like you did for the other one, we're going to go into the next stitch, like so, and then what we want to do is match stitch for stitch, so placing them together like that, we'll find the, uh, the last one on here, And put our needle through there and that joins them together initially and to sew these together what we're going to do is we'll rather than go over like that we're going to go 
over into the next stitch on the same side so you've just come out onto this top piece top part of the shell we're going to go into the next stitch like that and then you want to come down and go into the bottom stitch like that pull that tight and then we're going to go over to the next stitch on this side and then up the stitch on the top and pull tight and just repeat that all the way around going over and down over and up over and down so we go into the next one on here and then come out on the bottom And then we go over on the bottom and come out on the stitch at the top. Okay. So just repeat that all the way around until you end up with just a little hole. Because we need to leave a little hole for stuffing. Okay, so I'm just going to do that around until we've got a little hole left. Okay, so I've just carried on sewing round and I'm left with a little hole and then all we need to do is take some more toy stuffing and stuff your little shell. And I just need a little bit more. When you're happy with stuffing it, we're then just going to sew it closed. And the same method, we just go over to the next stitch and down. Then over on the bottom and up. Over at the top and down. Over, down, and then when you get back to the beginning, just sew as best you can the hole closed. Then, what we need to do is we need to hide this tail end, and to do that, we're just going to go back in where it's come out, where it last came out. And we're just going to come out anywhere on the shell, preferably out a little hole, a little stitch. And don't pull too tightly because you don't want to distort the shape of the shell. Then go back in where you come out again and go somewhere else, perhaps over to the other side, come out for a stitch. You should see that disappears on the inside. And what it does, it gets caught up on the inside with all the stuffing, securing it into place. And we'll do that again one more time. And then I think we'll stop there. And then all we do is we push the shell down or put it down, hold that tight, don't pull tight there, and trim as close as you can get to the shell. And then when you let go, you should see it just pops on the inside. And if it doesn't, you can just poke the tail end in the blunt end of your needle. And there we go, there's our little shell completed. It's like a little cushion. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sew the shell onto our little snail body. So we're going to take this white end now that we had earlier. And making sure where it's a little bit untidy on the sewing where it started and finished. I'm going to put that right into the back of his neck so it hides it. Okay. So just holding that in place we're then going to sew literally into the shell and out the other side. Okay. 
and then when it's out the other side what we will then want to do is sew into the tail making sure to line it up you want to sew so slightly over you want to sew into the tail then cut then just come out at the bottom What that will do is when you pull it tight, it will curve the body around the shell. Now to make sure that stays in place, we're then going to go over slightly on the bottom and come back out. You may have to push down for this. Come back out the shell at the top. If I can grab the needle. There we go. Let's pull that nice and tight. And you can see that has wrapped the shell around, or the body around the shell. Then all we need to do is just secure this into place. You may want to sew a little bit more. So go back in where you came out to make sure we hide the white. And then if you want to come out on the bottom again, you can do. So if you come back out where Come back in where it came out, that should pop on the inside. And then, really, it's a case of just hiding the tail in now, so it's going to come out on the body somewhere. Like so. If you're happy with that being secure, you should be able to. Let's just go back in one more time. Come out here. On the bottom and same as before we just push down trim then let go and the tail end disappears on the inside so there we go and then we can just squish our shell into place and there is our almost complete little snout and it's just missing some eyes and I like to do the eyes in the same color as the shells so we can use our leftover yarn to save scraps and to do the eyes, all I did on this guy was do like them slanting downwards, which make him look sleepy. So, do the same thing again. I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to come out this side. Looks a bit, a bit painful, isn't it? And leave a little tail end, and we're going to hide that after. Then I'm going to go up to like the top right. And come out this side but we need to make sure we come out to the top left so about there so he's got his little sleepy eye there and then this one we want to go in where this beginning bit of yarn is and we want to come all the way down the body to hide it at the end and then we go back in where we came out and we want to come out on the shell because it's pink so about there oh it's going so well <laughs> hate it when that happens thread it back on at least with yarn needles they're, they're a lot easier to thread the yarn onto than a sewing needle. Okay, again, trying to push in and come out somewhere on the shell. Back there. Oh, hooray, there we go. That should pop in on the inside and disappear. Then I can let go and trim this one down, same as before. We just push it down and trim. So that disappears on the inside, but it won't stand out anyway, even if a little bit's there because it's pink. Then for this other remaining eye, it's just a bit of yarn that's flopping around. I'm going to thread that. I'm going to go back in where I'm going to go back in where we went in to begin with. And again, we're going to come out on the body first. 
That should disappear on the inside. And then when it gets a bit short, I just take the needle off and thread it, the needle in first. Come out on the body somewhere, on the shell rather. Leave a little gap for your yarn needle hole and then thread the yarn needle. Like so. And then you can pull it through. And same again, push down, trim. I didn't get that very close that time, but let's push that in. You can do this a bit neater than I have. So there's his little eyes, little pink eyes. You may prefer to use black if you want to. And all's left to do now is his little antennae feeler things. So again, I'm going to take a bit of scrap white that we were using for the body, one of the tail ends. I'm just going to thread that on. And this, if you plan to give this to a child, a young child, it's probably best to leave off the feeler because they're quite loose. Um, you literally just go in like that into the head. And then you may want to trim there and then trim about the same the other side. And that's literally just loosely sewn through. So that's comes out quite easy. So if you do want to give this to a charge, you might want to leave off the little feelers. Um, but there we go, there's our little snail complete, and he can now join the little green one. So there you go. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you managed to follow along, it's been really nice testing out my um, our new Happy Bear yarn on camera, so um, like I said it's available to buy on our website, my little sales pitch, um, yeah so I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it if you want to buy it, um, but until then I shall see you soon, some more crochet fun, cheers for watching guys, bye!